back to our channel. This is Nisha Jairam here. And in today's video, we're going to discuss the topic called factory. Okay. So when I tell factory, the one thing which will hit your mind is uh, a factors of two and three. But uh, that isn't our topic. Our topic is factoring in the subject business and finance. Right. So factoring is nothing but a financial transaction where you can call it to be a debtor finance. So when a company, just imagine this to be a company. When the company is selling its accounts receivable, which means to be uh, the invoice, okay, invoice or bills to a third party, this transaction is called to be factory. So the word factory has been emerged from a Latin word called facere, which means to do or to make something. So let me give you an example so that you understand very clearly. Let's imagine a company. Okay, so this is a company by name XYZ. Okay, so this is a company. So a company is uh, selling 100 tons of 100 tons of cotton. Okay, let's deem it to be like this. A company is there by name XYZ and this company is selling 100 tons of cotton to a person. Okay, we call him to be here. So after selling 100 tons of cotton to the buyer, the buyer has to pay cash. Since being a credit transaction, usually factoring used to happen in any kind of credit transaction. The buyer will promise to the company that he is not going to pay cash immediately. For example, say if this transaction has taken place on Jan 1 and the buyer has promised on a fixed date okay, or a fixed date or in any kind of maturity date. Okay, or any date in future. Okay, in any date in future, the buyer has promised the company that he will repay the amount. For example, Jan 1, he's selling that by June uh, 15th, I'll repay the amount. And now, where is this third character coming? The company has sold the buyer since being a credit transaction. The buyer is not going to pay cash immediately. On any future day, the buyer is going to pay now. And now... This company is in immediate need of cash, is in immediate need and the company needs cash now. So how will the company raise cash? So character number one, the company, character number two, the buyer and here comes the third character called the factor. And now this factor acts as an intermediary between the company as well as the buyer. So the company is in immediate need of cash. What will the company do? The company will sell its invoices, which I told you to be accounts receivable in the beginning, in the definition. So the company will sell its invoice to the factor. The factor will immediately give cash. Okay. For example, if this uh, transaction worth 1 lakh, what will happen? The invoices will be given to the factor and the factor will give back the 1 lakh with a discount. And here comes the point, okay? With a discount, a factor will give back the money and then the invoice is being submitted to the factor. Now, it becomes the headache of the factor to collect the cash from the buyer. This process, we call it to be factoring. So why do companies actually do factoring? The reason is that the company's duty is to sell goods. Most of the companies, you know, they will not be interested to go in back of all the buyers to collect the cash because they have some other important works to be done. So most of the companies, they tend to have this intermediary called factor. Vacuum, the only duty of the company will be to sell goods and then the factor will be the intermediary and the factor will help the company to collect cash from its buyer. The second reason uh, why do a company go for factoring is that we'll take an example if a buyer has placed an order for 5 lakh or more. Before processing the order, the company is having a doubt now. Uh, will the buyer actually be able to pay the amount? Is he actually capable? So to find the credit worthiness of a buyer, the company will take help from a factor. So the factor will scrutinize the buyer's detail and inform the company that whether he is actually capable or not. And yes, since factor being an intermediary and acting between the company as well as the buyer, do you imagine that the factor is going to do all free of cost? Exactly no. So whatever amount that we are going to pay for the factor, we call it to be a commission. It can be deemed to be a commission amount or it can be told to be charges. 
So yes guys, today we have learned what is factoring and the process of factoring. So thanks for watching our video. If you do like our video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you want us to do some more videos in future, please do comment this below. Thank you.